Well, I've had to go in this a few times because I'm having problems with it. So I thought I'd just, I've done it that many times now. It's that easy. I thought I'd do a film. What else I want? So it's just got four screws. These two are Phillips number two. Top tool screwdrivers, brilliant. This is actually the battery cover. If you want to change the battery, you'll have to do is take this off. There you go, battery cover's off. Should just pull apart now. You're probably technically supposed to take the battery out first to save damage, but. So there you go, there's your plastic screen. That could be replaced. I don't know how, but probably just push it out. You have to flip this one up, this left hand side fuse, which I presume is for your amps. And that's a posi one screwdriver. What well, screw? And then it all comes out. Easy. Just gotta watch that bit. It aligns only one way, so with the springs facing out, I have no idea what that is, but it wouldn't be there if it weren't needed. You want to take the screen off, you just undo these four bolts. So easy to replace a screen on this, it's unbelievable. I don't know how much they charge you for this, but So that just pulls off there. Batteries in the way. So you probably replace all that unit. Easy. Right. It's so easy to put together, I ain't even gonna film it. I'll just show you a few bits on there. You got fuses, resistors, god knows what, chips, super chips. Don't know what that is. You can test all them components individually if you have a problem. I will just show you my problem there. If anyone can help. I'll just put it back together and I'll show you my problem. So basically when I'm on the amp rage with no leads in, it should show OL, but it keeps trying to read and flick on and off. So I was looking for a loose connection. Every one I pressed seemed to be the one I've reflowed all these. I really don't know what's going on now. It's got to be a faulty component, but whenever you try to move it, look. bit weird. Anyway, easy to strip down, easy to work on, easy to replace that if you needed to. Just one last thing, make sure you get the off that notch pointer along with the off and turn it off otherwise you'll have alignment problems. Oh, and don't do what I've just done. Forget to put the button back in. Every time I do that. That's it, easy.